am Jonathan. <laughs> and every year, thousands of American men travel to Vietnam to spend two billion dollars raping little girls. And that does not include thousands of other Westerners and all their money. I have a professor from college, he's actually a friend of mine, who a few years ago took his entire retirement and his pension and left his wife and family to move to Vietnam to spend all his time, all his retirement, having sex with Vietnamese children. And he was so excited about it. And he's still there. Like, I'm not making this up. This is true. So it's, it's as if American men did not get enough of raping little girls during the Vietnam War. Like, the Vietnam War was like crack cocaine to American men's cocks. And so, that, so they're still going over there to rape little girls. They're, American men are addicted to Vietnamese girls. But who else is going to apologize to these little girls in Vietnam? Like, obviously it's not like these American men are going to turn themselves in. So, like, I will take the blame for it. I will take the heat. Because those are my compatriots, and I'm an American. So I'm the one who flew to Vietnam, and I bought a 10-year-old girl for a month. And I brutally raped her, and I beat her, and I defecated and pissed all over her during sex. Because I thought that that was hot, like I'm a sick fuck. But anyway, to this 10-year-old girl in Vietnam, like, I want to say I am so sorry for what I did to you as an American. That is my fault that you were ripped from your family in Vietnam. It's my fault you were tortured by your pimps. And it's my fault that you were raped so brutally that you can never bear children. Awful story, but... But, like, I'm a rapist because I'm an American and all these American men are raping little girls in Vietnam. Um, I love you very much. Bye.